Ms. Transformers 96 here with another video where we'll be talking about some newly shown Marvel Legends items, uh, that being the Fantastic Four Invisible Woman, as well as the uh, back of the package for the Warlock uh, second wave of the X-Men series. So first of all, starting off with this Invisible Woman reveal, uh, we obviously did originally see this at, uh, I believe it was Comic-Con uh, just, you know, a few months ago. As you can see, the bottom right picture there is... Um, what was revealed there, and a lot of people at the time were really hoping that this meant that there would be a Fantastic Four wave, um, but as time has gone on and there was no other reveals of any other Fantastic Four characters, it was starting to believe that this uh, Invisible Woman would be a, a, um, uh, a Walgreens exclusive, and it does seem to be that that is the case. Now we are getting the official image of her in package, and, uh, and you can kind of see it. So looking like a decent figure here, uh, the figure itself seems to reuse the same body as like Hellcat and Jean Grey, um, although the feet are not the, the wedged heels anymore. That She does seem to have the uh, more standard like shoe type of feet, which I like a lot, because usually when this body is used, it's used with the heels, which makes the figure hard to stand, and it's just kind of annoying. So I'm really glad that they went with a... Um, the uh, the non-healed feet. I think that's going to be quite nice. I also like the fact that she uh, does have her power represented here a bit, uh, with her right arm being slightly translucent. I think that that's pretty cool. Um, it's And she does come with a uh, secondary hand. It's a little hard to tell what the differences are with the hands. Uh, from what I can tell, it looks like this hand is um, the uh, uh, like the same hand as the wasp uh, that she originally had. That kind of like hand that's semi-open, but the fingers are kind of sprayed out. And then this hand, I believe, I'm almost 100% sure, is the same hand as like Beetle, uh, which is more just kind of fully opened and the fingers are all in line with each other. Um, so I think that's nice that she does come with those alternative hands. And looking like a good figure, the face sculpt does look quite nice as well. Uh, then she also comes with uh, um, Herbie, is it? I believe Herbie is his, uh, his name or the acronym for his name. Um, but that's that little robot uh, looking quite nice. I, think, I like the design of him. I think that the coloring is a bit is a bit weak. I'm not quite sure. I don't know a whole lot about uh, this character in the comics, but I do have another figure of him in the three and quarter inch line, and that figure is a uh, more of a silver. While this one seems to be a kind of a, a pale white. Maybe maybe it has a slight pearlescent type of look to it, but it does still look nice. And as you can see, there is some sort of flight stand. And, uh, meant for Herbie so that you can kind of have him flying so uh, so that is quite nice and I do like that um, so this this does seem to be a wall uh, Walgreens exclusive and uh, I haven't picked up any of the other Walgreens exclusives before but this one I definitely do want and I do plan to pick it up so now on to the uh, X-Men Wave 2 we have um, kind of the back of the package there the, the new image uh, that I'm going to be mainly talking about today is the one at the bottom right where you can see the breakdown at the back of the package uh, and uh, Warlock is going to be split up into six Build-A-Figure pieces which I think is quite nice that's a pretty standard rate and then there are seven figures in this wave though Old Man Logan is the one that you don't need to buy to build Warlock um, but you can buy him just on his own uh, which you know I think it's nice that they're doing this because I think buying six figures to build the Build-A-Figure is a really it's a solid amount you know I think that's a, a good uh, uh, a good rate to do, so I am glad that they're sticking with that. However, it is a little disappointing that they have one figure that you don't need to buy, and of course he's always the best one, you know. Uh, with the last series it was uh, uh, Deadpool, and uh, now this one it is uh, Logan here, Old Man Logan, which is going to be extremely popular. So uh, this series, though, as a whole, is looking great. Uh, I'm excited for it. I don't think it's nearly as good as the first X-Men series, though, but I think that it does still look nice. It has a very unique, cool Build-A-Figure, and then it has... Uh, a multitude of okay characters with some with some decent sculpts and then you do have Old Man Logan which is a character that is really fantastic and I'm really excited for and of course that Jim Lee Cyclops looks uh, great as well so I am excited for this build a figure or for this uh, wave this wave apparently is supposed to hit around the same time as the um, the Gardens of the Galaxy wave with the uh, Titus I believe is the build a figure of that one the tiger face guy so uh, so yeah so this looks like a decent wave nothing fantastic but it does look pretty nice and I am uh, happy with the breakdown of the build figure pieces at least but this uh, Sue Storm figure I'm very much anticipating so there you go that's my uh, video just talking about some new um, uh, Marvel Legends things that were shown, and of course today we also got the reveal of the Evolution of Groot, uh, Toys R Us exclusive Marvel Legends figure, which just looks fantastic, so it's been a pretty good day for, uh, for Marvel Legends news. So let me know what you guys think of this stuff, and thanks so much for watching.